What's up, people? My name is Ginger, and you are super welcome to E Circle on Seven TV. I mean, guys, what is life without entertainment? Hmm? It's going to be big time boring and that is why i am here to give you all the entertainment gist from all around the globe so what are you waiting for quickly grab your bowl of popcorn and your drink of course let's go on a commercial break when i come back i will hit you with everything i have in store for you today Advanced placement, you can call the number on your screen. And you can visit our website at www.7fm.tv. 7TV Nigeria. 7TV, it's all about you. guys to the show this is e circle of course as you all know and i remain your favorite girl ginger now since 2015 barack obama has been releasing an annual playlist of all the songs he's been listening to and guys guess what this time around we have our very own people on that playlist we have thames we have bonaboy we have benson that's Buju for those of you that don't know him. Buju. All of them, they have their songs on that playlist. Tem song is um, Vibe Out. Then we have Bonner Boys, Last Last. He don't cast. Last Last. Now everybody go chow breakfast. Shayo. And then we also have Benson and Phil song, Finesse. I think my favorite part of that song is, um, let me see. Let me see. What's that favorite? Ah. Anyways, you people will bear with me because it's not like I know how to sing, but I remember this. If you fall in love, girl. If you fall in love, girl, it's satin. Yeah. You go to breakfast, I'm not capping. Yeah. Can you see dripple, I'm not catching. Yeah. Satin. You go to breakfast, I'm not capping. Can you see dripple, I'm not ah. See, yeah, I'm, ju I'm just a whole vibe. I'm just a whole vibe. So their songs are on Barack Obama's summer playlist this time around. And this is really, really a good thing. Like, I love to see Nigerians go out there and win. And we could also remember that in 2019, we have Rema's Iron Man on that playlist. And in 2020, we had Essence, Whiskey Essence, of course, on the playlist. So many more wins, many more achievements to all the Nigerian artists out there. Best of luck to you. Over to the next story, guys. So, the Hedis Academy has withdrawn the two nominations that was awarded to Portable. Now, Portable came out recently and said he is the leader of the notorious One Million Gang that was disturbing Lagos State, especially during the COVID-19 period. Later on, he actually came out to say that, oh, he didn't say that and all of that. But then... This led to a police investigation and the Hedis Academy had to uh, withdraw the nominations that was given to him. And he also threatened to kill any of the nominees should he not win any of those awards. Like, I mean, like I will always say, Wahala, not too much like this. No, be juju with that. Like, why would you say that? But I feel, yeah, you know, it is one thing to have talent and fame. It's another thing to have talent, fame, and know how to manage the fame. So I think he doesn't really have, um, like, the, the, he, the proper standing to manage fame. Maybe that's probably why he said some of those things. But now the matter is in police hands and we're still waiting to hear what becomes of it. Hopefully when he comes out, he would, you know, adjust to the celebrity lifestyle. Moving forward to the story that has been giving me so much joy. Now, in recent times, Nigerians have been venturing into a lot of things. Music, sports, business. And now, we had our very own Toby Amosan. Like, winning the women 100 meter hurdles at the World's Athletic Championship. Almost see that's a huge huge win and like when I think when she was interviewed here yeah, She said there were times that her mom had to even lie to her father that she was going to church You know just so she could go out and train because her father was totally against it And he said ah, he doesn't feel running is for a woman, you know Africans now always say let the woman be in the kitchen and all of that But then see where it has led her to and I'm very very sure that he is proud of 
her right now of course now nah, she don't get plenty money anyways big ups to her and many more wins to come let's quickly take a commercial break when we come back i'll give you the rest of the story stay tuned Advanced placement, you can call the number on your screen. And you can visit our website at www.7fm.tv. 7TV Nigeria. 7TV, it's all about you. Welcome back, guys. So there's this thing that has been happening in recent times that see i don't even know where where all of that is coming from but sure you know because i'm here to give you all the amber that you've missed because you are busy and all of that i'm going to play the tape so now popular blogger just lover that we don't know if it's a he or a she he okay let's just assume it's a he because i don't know the person so he has just released a list of women especially Nigerian act actresses, allegedly sleeping with popular man of God, Johnson Suleiman. I mean, so like this lover just dropped the list during the week and like the whole internet is going agog, like everybody is talking about it and all of that. And then those ladies that were mentioned, like the likes of Iabo Ojo, Lillian Badge, Georgina Onoha, Halima Abubakar, a lot of them, they, they came out and everybody is saying, oh, I, I, don't, I, I don't know the man of God to be like that. I've never slept with him. You know, they've all debunked the rumor. So right now, guys, we really don't know if it's true or not. We are only, we are only going to believe what they say, you know, those people involved. So, well, in due time, of course, I would definitely give you all the that's those that is to come so guys as you all know big brother ninja season 7 is all in our faces like i mean everybody is watching big brother here and there so chichi of the big brother ninja house was in a discussion with her fellow colleagues shex and bella and she told them she used to be a stripper and she said she used that stripping to survive you know now the country hard nigeria is tough and all of that now at the beginning of the show when ebuka asked her what she has to bring to the show what she has to offer she said she, well as we all know she's an exotic dancer and she's ready to bring all of that and much more into the house and of course to win the plenty money that comes along with it i feel i feel well she said people shouldn't judge her i am not judging so i i just feel do what makes you happy do what you feel is the right thing if you feel what you're doing is the right thing fine you know so no shades at all before we wrap off let me just quickly drop some top banging songs that i feel you all can actually listen to this weekend so we have bandana we have it's plenty we have common person we have certified loner by mayor all these songs and see there's no way you can listen to it and it's not you know make your body shake <laughs> all right guys that is all i have for you today i will see you same time next week don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms on instagram at 7tv underscore nig on twitter at 7tv underscore nig and on facebook at 7tv nigeria i remain your host with the extreme most I'm going to see you same time next week. Stay safe. Bye.